how do we find the sharpening angle? Well, the answer to this question may seem obvious, but there are a number of peculiarities. First of all, let us answer the question, what exactly is a sharpening angle? This is the convergence of the secondary bevel of both sides of the blade at one point. Now, how do we find the sharpening angle at these two points? Well, let's consider the simple case of a blade with flat geometry. At a given point, we will draw a tangent to the blade, construct an orthogonal plane to that point and to that straight line. Thus, at the intersection of the point of the blade, the tangent, and the orthogonal plane, the sharpening angle has been found. Now, let's consider a blade with more complex geometry. Draw a tangent to a point on the blade and construct an orthogonal plane. Other points on the blade will have their own tangent and plane, and respectively, their sharpening angles will be different. Now, to measure the sharpening angle, a protractor and an inclinometer are used. As an example, let's take a look at a measurement made with a basic protractor. It will measure the angle between its two positions in a certain plane. However, if the angle finder is not parallel to the plane when it's measuring, it will show incorrect data. Now, let's take a look at an inclinometer measurement. Unlike the protractor, the inclinometer measures the angle with the horizontal plane but does not rely on an orthogonal plane, so it will measure the angle accurately at any position, since the angle with the horizontal plane never changes. So, how does the choice of a measuring device affect sharpening? Using a common protractor, the readings will only be correct if the angle finder is parallel to the orthogonal plane. However, as soon as this position is changed, the angle finder will show a wrong value which has a negative effect on the sharpening result. This is bad. With an inclinometer, however, the values do not change. The angle is measured between the horizontal plane and the plane of the blade, or in this case, the secondary bevel, and will be correct at any position, ensuring a constant and accurate angle to achieve the flattest possible secondary bevel along the entire length of the blade. The Axicube I is the first angle finder with a built-in inclinometer. And now you understand why you need one.